Well, hey guys, welcome to this edition of Bland County Survivor Man. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show my younger viewers something right here. Some of you older folks might know this little trick right here. But uh, in a survival situation, uh, I'm sitting right here overlooking a, a little uh, kindly open meadow. And in survival, if, if you've got a weapon to kill, a, a, you know, some game to eat, there's one way that you can uh, see if there's anything in the area. Because I know for a fact that, you know, it, most people think that they can go into the woods and they can live for days without food and find food to eat and plenty of it. Guys, that's a fantasy. I'm telling you right now, if you don't live where there's herds of animals and just, just plenty of streams with fish in them, that ain't nothing but a fantasy. You have to know how to get the animals to come to you. Now, I'm going to take a crow collar right here and call with it just a few seconds and show you and explain to you uh, why I use a crow collar and to make different sounds. Just a general sound that a crow makes just to let uh, other crows know that he's in the area. That's all that is. Now guys, when you hear crows in an area, when you're out in the woods and you're hunting, it don't make any difference if it's a survival situation, you're just out deer hunting. If you hear crows carrying on, if you hear crows carrying on like that, that means that there's something in that area somewhere. If you will sneak to where those crows are and look you will see something in the woods or you you might even see a crow uh, uh, let, let's say an owl in a tree or a bird of prey in a tree and that's that's what crows do when they're after something it might even just be a fox on the ground but that's exactly what they do they'll all gather up and try to run that predator out of the country and I've walked up guys and, and followed this stuff for years Lots of times there'll just be a bunch of turkeys in the woods and the crows want them to leave. But anyway, that's what happens. You can take a crow collar, like I'm doing right now, and uh, see if there's anything in the area. There may be a fox or a predator in the area that you can get to come into the area just because you're calling to them with a crow collar. Another thing you can do is make another sound, and I've called guys, plenty of deer have come to the sound of a predator caller, and it's simply, I don't know why they do it unless it just sounds like a baby deer in stress. Deer will come to that, especially female deers. They will come, and I've actually had big bucks come to see what was going on when I was making that sound, guys. So, guys, that's just some of the things that you can do. Don't go out into the woods without food because, guys, that's just something that you, we see people do on TV and we see people doing on the Internet, and they're trying to prove something, I think, to some people, but that really don't prove anything. Reality is this. When you're out in the woods without food for days on end, you're going to starve to death unless you eat food of some kind. If you don't know what to eat in the woods, you're going to starve to death. If you can't get an animal to come to you to get a hold of, you're going to starve to death. So all of this stuff that we see, basically people going out, they're going to stay in the woods forever. Guys, that's just one big fantasy that some couch potatoes got that they never got in the woods. Guys, that's another tip from your Bland County Survivor Man. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.